going on everybody? It's been a while. It's been about three weeks since I posted a video and we got a lot of things done. As you can tell behind me, we have our restroom framed out. We have our boards for our kitchen area and I will explain all of that later. But first, let's go ahead and bring it back a couple weeks ago. So about two weeks ago, I decided to not be on YouTube and not record as much because that kind of took time off of actually building the bus. It takes a lot of time both filming, getting the angles, and editing the whole YouTube video. So the first task that we did was completing the ceilings where we painted it, primed it, and got it screwed on for its final installation. I was talking and then Emily drove by. She ended up getting some coffee for the both of us. Mine's down there. I was gonna talk about our windows, but I'll go ahead and let Emily talk about that. Right, so the windows, what we've done the past few weeks is we framed out a little bit of the windows, even the ones behind the kitchen counter, even though you're not going to be able to see it. Um, I may want to put something back there, so we framed out the bottom and the top of those as well as the middle uh, wood piece. I don't really want to see any metal, so we're kind of uh, doing a lot yeah. <laughs> because uh, to me personally it's going to matter how it looks. Um, I want it to feel and look good because we plan on living in here long term. Yeah, and one of the main things that we both noticed too is little details mm -hmm. that really take the longest. Right. And that's why we've been gone for like two weeks, almost three weeks I believe. And the only thing we have up is there and both of our seats for our dinettes already been made. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like we've done a lot, but we've done a lot of the little things. To continue on. I ended up putting on that back piece right there and I know you see that little piece there's a little space in between so I still have to cut that and this is the main thing that really took us maybe four days to actually think about and that is our kitchen the kitchen area um, it was a little hard to figure out so I came up with a few sizes that I wanted the sink to be I'm a very visual person so we had to set up um, what are those little horse things called yeah, so we pretty much set up like a little table right. um, to kind of mimic how tall the kitchen area is going to be. And then Emily ended up cutting out pieces for the size of the sink, the stove, mm -hmm. and just kind of played around with it because we did have an idea on the 3D model. But Emily, again, she wanted to see it like in person. Right. So yeah so for that we literally made it to the height that it's supposed to be and then um, for the sinks i just cut up like cardboard and kind of use that as um something to go off of so i could visually see the space and kind of feel how we would really work um i want to make sure we maximize the space that we have and trying to customize it to what we need and also making it look good um like me personally this may be going um above and beyond what other people would do for the sink i would like for the sink to be centered in a window i don't want it to be um in the middle of two windows so um, it's just like little stuff like that that i know will bother me again this is like maybe above and beyond like if it were just melvin building out a bus i don't this think this bus would have been done five years <laughs> melvin... ago before i bought the bus right no melvin definitely wouldn't care but um it's stuff like that like i want to feel inspired and um just very at peace like in the space that i'm in so with that like it's a little bit harder to kind of figure out and utilize the maximum amount of space that we can but we did finally get something figured out and we went to a countertop fabricator and he kind of talked us through certain things so i had to change some things based off of what um, he recommended and he said we're waiting on two other estimators to come out to kind of give us a quote um so we're still kind of figuring that out, but in the meantime, while I was doing that, Melvin was essentially cutting up the boards. Yeah. For kind yeah. of in between. After she figured out where everything was going to be, she started kind of drawing on a piece of cardboard where the cabinets and the drawers are going to be. And mm -hmm. I think we're going to have a lot of space. Yeah. Um, a lot of deep drawers, uh, long cabinets. After the second week figuring out the cabinets, we ended up finishing our restroom area mm -hmm. and the cool thing about this restroom area is we're adding two things that we personally haven't seen in a bus mm -hmm. um, probably in a van I, I'm not sure we ended up putting a little pull-out drying rack and this was very 
easy to make. Emily sent me a picture on Pinterest. I went to the website and if you wanted to buy on the website, it was like two or three hundred dollars or something like that. Yeah. And this was just a couple, you know, one by ones and um, two 24 inch drawers slides. And the second thing that I'm still gonna build is a full mirror that's right. kind of top to bottom because I know Emily wanted to have one so that she can, you know, see how she looks whenever we go out somewhere. I need to make sure I'm looking right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I want to be looking a fool. But we are glad that we finally got the restroom walls up because then mm -hmm. that was the main thing for us to get our kitchen stuff done. And another thing too that was pretty cool was our neighbor literally across the street right here, Danny. Let me actually grab it for you guys real quick. So our neighbor Danny, mm -hmm. shout out to him. And I will try to find out what his business is, but if I can't, I'll show you guys on Instagram, which by the way, shameless plug, if you guys haven't followed us yet, go ahead and <laughs> give us a follow. Um, but our neighbor, he owns a foam company and the foam company, he does it for houses, uh, RVs. I believe he's contracted with Camping World. Mm -hmm. He ended up giving us a couple samples of foam for our dinette area and I'm not gonna lie, these are actually pretty yeah. soft. Yeah, they're really comfy. Um, something that was important to us is that, I mean, I'm no foam or cushion expert, but we wanted something that um, is comfortable to sit on every day because that's mostly what it's gonna be used for. But also we wanted it to be comfortable enough for somebody to sleep on. So, you know, we don't plan on having guests do too much, but if, you know, some of our friends ever wanted to come out and go on a trip with us, we want to make sure it's comfortable enough for them to the point where, you know, we don't want anybody waking up with like... Sore necks yeah, and sore, sore neck and stuff. Yeah. During the two weeks, we ended up finally figuring out the paint for our walls. So mm -hmm. that's in the garage right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be painting it sometime this week. So the paint for the walls, what it is, is Bauer Color. It, I believe, is a European brand. Um, I haven't seen too too much about like lime wash um, and buses or vans. I have seen a few people use Roman clay, which I also really love the look of it. Um, but I don't think I'm willing to put in that much work for the walls, especially because um, we plan on kind of probably getting it a little dirty. So realistically, I know I'm a bit of a clean freak. So um, I, I think it would just be a little hard to clean it and then the paint could possibly come off or the clay could come off. So with the lime wash is a little bit easier because I believe from what I've seen so far is that you can reapply it over. Um, you can also put like a, a protective coat over it. However, I am trying to keep it as non-toxic as possible because this is a small area. I don't want to be breathing in the off gas that um, regular paints would essentially be emitting into the air. Um, so hopefully that will turn out really good. Um, it's not really recommended that you do it on plywood. However, um, I'm going to have to try to get a primer and I have a base coat for it, which you can order through their website also. Um, not sponsored by the way. Yeah, no, not sponsored or anything. I just think it's really cool um, because they have a ton of colors. I have seen a few from a couple other companies, but I really like the colors that they have so far. We also got our fridge in. Uh, I believe you guys already saw in the last couple videos that we did get our fridge, mm -hmm. but now that once we finish the kitchen area and we're going to wait for the countertop people to come by and kind of measure everything out, we're going to be working on our closet area. And honestly, at this point, I think everything's just going to start flying by. Yeah. Because uh, day by day, we can complete one little task here and there because we did the whole um, proper planning before uh, right. for these past two, three weeks. So now that everything's good to go, mm -hmm. we're just going to breeze right through it. With us not having a whole lot of experience with the woodworking and everything, I know a big part of making everything look clean and finished is trim work. Um, and, you know, it, it's hard to plan for something that you've never done before, so you don't really know until you get there. So that's another thing that's been on my mind is, okay, what can we do now? Or um, how can we cut the wood in certain ways for the larger pieces? so that it's easier to um, complete the trim work later on. So, and that is a bit harder than just making regular cuts. Like trim yeah. work is a bit more advanced and we're not really advanced yeah. when it comes to carpentry. Come along this journey with us while we're building the bus because as soon as the bus is like 90% done, we have a couple plans where we wanna go already and 
I want to showcase to you guys my work uh, and Emily's work with photography because she's getting into it also mm -hmm. and uh, we just hope to you know entertain you guys and educate you guys on our future travels on where we're gonna be so yeah if you guys want to support the channel um, give it a like it really helps out with the algorithm and if you guys want to comment anything any questions uh, for anything uh, photography bus building stuff um, put them down below and we will see you guys in the next one because uh, things are going to start flying. They better. <laughs> <laughs>